What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are showing off Grasslands from Steve's Mods. This is his map that is currently with, I think, Giants. It has been on hold since like April, May, June, somewhere around there. It is, uh, it is actually, with Giants, set to be released here soon. So I had the ac early access to this map back in April. Did a video, do a, did a few videos on it. This map's awesome. And, yeah. So, let's go on and get into the map. Okay, spring is here. Uh, I got horse play. So, yeah. First off, let's look at your PDA. Here's the PDA to the map. It's a good size map. Yeah. So, let's go over the starting equipment you'd start off with on this map. And yes, I am using Oxy's lighting, so it looks awesome. So yeah, you start on this farm, on New Farmer, and that's what the land you start with. You start with build 42, 52, um, your farm, 26 and 25, 61 and 66. So yeah, that's where you start. And here's what you start off with. Alright, so you start off with a favorite 511C. A John Deere 6230R, a Fenton 38, a Fast Track 8330, a John Deere 7230R, a MF Activa, Activa 7347S, the TKD 302, the SEK 802, the Free Flow 25 foot, POH5, Cultimeter, Cultimer L300, Pronto 9DC. The Deltas 1302 Mita MTA 3, the PF 1500, the Axis 40.2 meter EMCW, the Novacat X8 ED, the Novacat 301 ED, the Vicon uh, Fanix 604, the Kuhn GAE 9531, the Strautman Zellen CFS 2501 DO. The New Holland Roll Belt 150, the Treadline Duo 1814, the Coon Primer 15070, the John Deere 64 643R, the Stoll FC30, the Universal Bucket, a Bell Spike, a Header Trailer, and a Silo and a Water Trailer. So, yeah, that is all your starting equipment. And yes, that is a lot of starting equipment. That's what Steve tends to do. He does, yeah, here's here's where most of your starting equipment actually is. Some, there's four over here, and here's your silo right here. Um, and then you got your hedges. And they do not have collisions. Oh, man. Do they? I don't remember if they do, to be honest. Here, let's grab a tractor and see. I'm pretty sure these have collisions, but I don't know. And then we'll probably buy a TLX and drop around the map. But we gotta see if these have collisions first. And no. Fences do, but not the not the um not the edges. So yeah. Let's buy a TLX and drive around the map. Whoops. Um. I need to see if I can get a hold of David in the future and try to get the zero turns to do a video on. So I know y'all want that badly. I know y'all do. But y'all got to give me a little time. Because, hey, um, you know, I don't want to bother the man. Okay? He's busy. I'm busy I just don't want to bother him at all I don't want to make him mad or something I don't want to bother him but yeah I don't want to bother him so I'm gonna let him just if he wants to send him to me he can he don't have to but I hope he does um we didn't buy a dually should have thought about that blue bumper Oh, 
Okay. While we're down here, you can actually see the shop. And yes, I think he may have fixed those uh, mowers. They may be at the farm on the new version of uh, Blazebrook. I mean, gla bleh bleh, Grasslands. I, I have no clue. But yeah, here is the shop. You start off right, you come in right here. You come in, you got your, this lizard. You got a lizard? It's a lizard. Okay. Then you got a moho. Then over here, just a few static stuff, more static stuff. Then right here, you got your ATM, which I've actually never. Yep, you got your ATM, and then over here, you have your store. Oh. Okay. I should have found that issue a while back. Um, um, yeah, that happens. I don't know if he fixed that issue or not, but that was an issue right there. So yeah, that's that. And right here, I don't know what this is. What does this do? Um, I don't see a trigger over here. Oh. Oh! Move. Confirm. Oh, that is neat. That is neat right here. Here's your animal dealer. I'm probably going to ask him if I could throw that on my map. Shh, I'm saying nothing does. Even that was not a crash at all. Um... Oh, wrong side of the road. We can go right here, and this is our sawmill, I believe. And I think here's a selling station. You gotta back in. Or just drive straight through, because they just have no collisions, like I wish they did. Um, <laughs> it just, it's more, more like, you could say strict, like, not strict, but it's harder on YouTubers. Who played this map if a hedge has a collision or plays any EU map when hedge has collisions? So, this map is seasons ready, I believe. This map is huge. PB. Okay. No, don't crash. Okay. Found a windmill. That's what I did find. In the field. Okay, so we're going to go find another farm. So let's look on the PDA. We are going to go here. Here's the pig farm. This pig farm is actually pretty good looking. I actually like the pig farm. I, I've actually never been to this side of the map. Wow, this is really wow. Steve outdid himself on this map, and the thing that Glazebrook is probably, probably better than this is wow. Because Glazebrook, I mean, Grasslands is amazing. Just think what Glazebrook is. Well, we've already seen it a good bit in like YouTubers and all that stuff, but. Alright, here's another good looking farm, but. <laughs> we can't get through right there. Can right here. Wow. Wow. See, if I do a let's play on this map, I'm. It's a multiplayer map, I could say that. But Oak Hill from Lancy Boy. Lancy Boy, Lancy Boy, Lancy Boy. That map looks amazing. And I mean amazing. But. I don't know. It's. We're talking about Steve right here, okay? Get back to Steve. Steve! Okay. Um. So yeah, that's this farm. Got you a little little car. Got a V6 in it. And you got your. You got that. Um. All right. Next. Next farm. All right. Here's your biogas plant. Your biogas plant's right up here. 
on pretty much the top of the map. And this actually looks new. I've never used biogas plants in game. I maybe have, I don't know. But yeah, the detail. The hills right here. I love it. And then up here, it just goes right there. One thing I don't understand about UK maps. The trees are in the ground. Don't understand that. I'm making a UK map myself and my trees ain't in the ground. I don't understand why they are in the ground on UK maps though. Holy moly. I think I just found an even better farm. The chicken farm. Wow. Just look out. What a good, good spring day. With the clouds. Rolling away, and then all of a sudden, boom! Lightning. Oh no, I'm trying to get it through. Yeah. Just imagine that. So yeah, that that'd be honestly, if this was in base game of FS21. I don't just call it FS21. If this was in the base game of FS21. Wow. Stop. And it rains. Okay. Well. Can't see. But hey. We got a beautiful sky. We got to get the thumbnail for this. Uh, get a little brighter though. That's perfect thumbnail right there. Print screen. Done. Okay, so this is the what, chicken farm. So the next farm is the horse farm. And where's my horses? There they are. Hey, buddies. Can I ride you? Who am I riding? I'm riding Houston. Okay, Houston, we got a problem. There's a balloon in the sky. A balloon. And this is actually a pretty good map. I mean, it's a good map. I mean, there's really nothing to say. Just, it's a good map. Steve put a lot of detail into this map. I wish I could have done a longer map tour, but hey, I'm. You know, I'm busy. Like, I'm not busy, busy. I'm just, I'm trying to get a lot done right now videos and all that so Houston I'm gonna leave you there alrighty is that everything oh that's every oh and the cow pasture here's the cow pasture back at the main farm uh this farm's where you start off with this farm is probably where everybody will stay but yeah <laughs> that's an even better thumbnail thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And when Grasslands come out, comes out, guys, go download it and support Steve. Because, well, he's just an awesome person in general. So, guys, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And check out Steve's pages in the description. Have a nice day, guys. I will see you all later. Peace.